What's going on everyone? Thanks for clicking on the video, and today we're going to be taking a look at the JNTOP wireless controller for Nintendo Switch. For a console that's been out for just over a half a year, we sure do have quite a lot of controller options for Switch. No, seriously. I mean, whether the last time you played a video game console was in the early 90s or just last week, it really doesn't matter because when you're playing on Switch, it's all about playing your games the way you want to play them. This is the JNTOP wireless controller for Nintendo Switch. It's another alternative to the Pro Controller designed specifically for Switch, except unlike the $17 Fastnail wired controller we reviewed last month, the JNTOP wireless controller comes packed with many of the same premium features that you would find in Nintendo's own official Pro Controller for about half the price. First and foremost, I know this probably isn't a surprise, but it's wireless. It connects to your Switch through Bluetooth, and it's very simple to sync up and start using right away. It can hold a charge of up to 20 hours, and it only takes about two hours to fully charge the battery. Now that fast charging is probably due to the fact that this controller uses USB Type-C, which is a huge plus in my opinion, because as we all know, USB Type-C is pretty much the future as far as wired charging is concerned. But what good is a wireless video game controller if the whole controller aspect of it sucks, right? Well, thankfully, the JNTOP wireless controller doesn't suck. I'll just go ahead and say that right away. It's actually a pretty good controller because it's ergonomically designed to provide as much grip and control when you're playing your favorite games, just like the Pro Controller. Taking a look at the JNTOP wireless controller and the Pro Controller side by side, you can see that they share many of the same great qualities. For instance, I really like the fact that the A, B, X, and Y buttons on the JNTOP wireless controller are big and spaced out appropriately. So if you have larger hands, then you won't be accidentally mashing multiple buttons when trying to pull off combos in most fighting games. And as you can see, the analog sticks are offset with tiny concave indentations for a little added grip to the natural movement of your thumbs, which is pretty much in line with the same design that you would find on the Pro Controller or basically every Xbox controller ever made. But if you take a closer look at the triggers, you'll notice that they're actually almost identical to the triggers that you would find in a DualShock 4. And that's really awesome if you're someone who prefers that type of controller setup. But where this controller really shines is in its D-pad. Now it's not the best D-pad in the world, not by any stretch of the imagination, but I do think that it probably has one of the best D-pads on Switch right now. It has that same range of motion or some sort of of pivot that you find in classic Nintendo D-pads, which is something that is unfortunately missing from the current Pro Controller. The grips are also very comfortable in hand and are fitted with tiny grooves to lay your fingers on for extra support, which makes a lot of sense for this controller because another one of its staple point features are its motion controls, which I'm very happy to say work just as well as they do with the Pro Controller and Joy-Con in games like Splatoon 2 and Breath of the Wild. But as great as this controller is, it definitely does have a few setbacks. For one, it doesn't have an NFC reader, so you won't be able to activate Amiibo while using this controller. However, I can't imagine that being too big of a deal breaker right now, especially because you can literally just keep your right Joy-Con next to you while you play and use it to activate Amiibo on the fly. So ultimately, I really like the JNTOP wireless controller. I definitely think that it's one of the better alternatives to the Pro Controller currently available for Switch, because not only is it half the price of the official Nintendo Switch Pro Controller, but it also manages to keep many of the core features that I know a lot of individuals, including myself, find valuable in a video game controller. But don't get me wrong, because as much as I do like this controller, I still think that the Pro Controller is king as far as controller options for Switch go. So if you can't afford one, I still recommend you go with that. But the JNTOP wireless controller is a great alternative, especially if you prefer the DualShock 4 style design. And if you want a chance to win one of these things yourself, well, I'm going to be giving one away. So definitely make sure you check out the giveaway link in the video description down below. And congratulations to the Nyko Power Pack winner. I'm going to be getting in touch with you very soon. So definitely make sure you check your email and your Twitter. Also, if you enjoyed the video, please remember to like it and subscribe for more Switch videos just like this one. Thanks and have a great day.